So hello and uh, welcome along out with Rev Bomb and Eclipse Motorcycles. We're going to be looking at this first block of the Lexmoto Isca. And as you can tell, what a gorgeous looking little bike this one is. First of the new models to come out. That has got the uh, LED all the way around it. Nice carbon look panels and you've got that nice underbelly as well. And that new styled tank. And from the front, that does look very, very nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to the other camera. And I'm going to run you round up close on the bike so you can get a good look around this. So here we are up close on the Isca. And I'm just going to kick the ignition on for you guys. As you can see, full digital dash on this one. Very, very nice styling with that starter motor, kill switch. And then you've got your horn indicators and your lights to the front with the new Lex motors they do have this new tank design so you've got the tank and then you've got the wrap round that comes around now some people have said it does look from the front like a ladybird it does it looks like the ladybird's got its wings out now I wasn't a great lover of these tanks until they brought the assault out it had the indicators in the end of the tank so very very nice design and that does take a lot of wind away from the legs as well so does work as a slight bit of deflection and of course you've got your nose nose nice daytime running lights there as well some damn good rubber on these bikes so very impressed with the new tires that Lex Moto are sourcing and putting on the bikes and just moving in on the engine as you can see nicely bronzed on that and then you've got that underbelly tray as well so a lot of bronze work going on so the metal work on these new Lex Moto is really really good and of course you've got adjustable rear suspension now this does have the combined braking on this one and this is an 8 kilowatt bike. Nice little LED stoplight to the rear. But once again, with the Lex Moto range, very, very easy to maintain. All the parts easily accessible, so you can get to absolutely everything if you are going to be servicing your bike. And I do like this carbon look that they've got. So it does have that carbon effect on there. So what we are going to do for the purposes of ride test, we're going to flip over now. We're going to go back to the main ride camera and take this out and put a few miles on it so we're back on the main camera now and we're just going to uh, throw a leg over now obviously i'm at five foot ten with a 32 inside leg and just going to get my seating position on this one so very very easy just to throw a leg over and even with the stands up i am just about flat footed so there we go drop that down on the main stand very very easy just to fire this up now it's got five speed box on this one as you can tell from that dash very very easy and just looking at those mirrors as you can see a little bit of shoulder in there but it's still ample view of the road behind me as well so this is absolutely zero miles on this bike brand new bike so for the purposes of ride test i am going to be t taking it quite easy So just heading out into the traffic. Now my normal few ride tests that I do, and we're just going to bring this up to 40 mile an hour. Now with the new Lex Motos and any new bike, we do suggest that you do follow your running in procedure on this one. So first 500k, keep the bike under 40 mile an hour if you can. Once you get your first service out of the way, you can bring the bike up to 50, that will take you up to 1500 kilometres and then you're good to go. Now, as I said earlier, this is an 8 kilowatt uh, engine on this one. A lot of people have said Lex Motors are very, very underpowered. Yes, they are, but the bike is designed for the longevity of any bike. So they do keep the horsepower down and just coming in on that front brake, and as you can tell, the brakes on this very, very good. Lovely spongy feel and it's not too soft, it's not too hard. So it does have some nice dampers on this as well. So this Euro 4 bike, and we just wait to get down the dual carriageway, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this bike. Now obviously a lot of people have said, oh, uh, very, very underpowered with the Lex Motor range, but if you actually compare the sake of the ZSX-F um, along to the CG125 Honda, there's not a lot of difference in it, and a lot of people said, yeah, but Honda is made in a, a decent factory. It's actually made in the factory across the road, so if you go on and look at the spec on the Lexmoto pages, 
there is a post on there but they actually compare where the bikes are made across the country now as a Lexmoto blogger um, obviously I do like these bikes but I do have my cons about and I will say what uh, what needs to be said seat in position to this very very upright and it does push you into the tank now obviously as a sports bike rider I like to be a little bit more over the tank but with this seat it does actually tuck you into the tank so very very nice seat in position and um, with that combined braking on it, it is very nice as well so we're just going to move out into the traffic from the off to obviously get up to speed now obviously I've got to take it a little bit easy because this is a brand new bike it does take a little while to get there it's not the fastest bike in the world but it is a 125 you know if you're looking for something where you just want to go to work or you want it as just your daily commute then you don't want all the horsepower in the world just to get you straight up to 60 mile an hour you want to be able to take it nice and easy you want a bike that's going to be reliable and like any bike whether it's big brand or whether it's the Lex Moto range if you maintain your bike you do your regular maintenance on it it is going to look after itself if you're just going to ride it backwards and forwards to work you're going to put your fuel in it not bother, bother about the servicing then yes you're going to be oh my bike's broken down why is that oh i bought a lex motor oh, it's broken down on me no it's the fact you're an umpty and you've not done your servicing correctly so look after a bike it will look after you and if you have to follow my channel then you'll know that i run a 96 kawasaki um, that bike's never missed a heartbeat it gets serviced believe it or not every six months it's in the garage once a month just for a pre-check i bring it in i do my pre-check on it all my regular maintenance is done once a week from home but once a month it comes into the garage and i just keep an eye on it let the boys have a look at it is there anything i need boys oh your brake pads are getting low right let's get it done so lexmodo range you can't go far wrong now this tank it is starting to grow on me i absolutely hated this tank so it depends on what you like so i'm just going to have a quick look down as you can see it has got those looks like two prongs like one either side um, and from the back it does look like a ladybird opening its wings now there's a lot of people that said oh we don't like the Lexmoto new tank it is ugly once you actually get used to it and you realize it does deflect the wind off your knees when you are riding i've got hardly any wind movement across my legs at all due to the fact that that is breaking up the air in front of me so well done Lexmoto but there are going to be those that don't like the tank it does grow on you after a while it's like the annoying tune in the back of your head that uh, you can't get rid of baby shark or whatever you know after a while you're like mm, okay i can live with it i can put up with it so uh, that may be one of the downsides if you don't like the new Lexmoto tank personally it's growing on me and uh, this is a nice little bike it does keep going and going and going so obviously this is the first one of the ride tests that's ever been done on one of these so there will be a few more coming up where i'm going to take this out and give it a few more miles once we've got some uh, k's on the clock as they say but for ease of use and uh, getting to the controls very very easy to use very easy to maneuver handles well in traffic it holds a straight line and it's good on the old mpg so for 1500 pound or whatever you've not got a bad little bike in these same as the uh, assault as well so we're just going to head back into uh, towards the garage and once again that suspension is soaking up the bumps you can tell obviously i'm going to try and dig out a few potholes a few rough spots there we go another one and there's a nice big one coming up i like this little bump here over the bump and it's not jarring at all on the back so suspension does soak up now it does have the adjustable dampers to the rear so if you want it a little bit harder you can beef the suspension up if you like a little bit softer you can do that as well into the corners and as you can tell it does lean very very well and that new rubber that Lexmoto sourced on their tyres the old rubber used to be not very good I didn't like the old tyres on the Lexmoto's especially in wet weather but they've really gone to town and changed whatever they've done with their tyre stockists and the, the new tyres on these new Lex Motos are really good, super grippy can't fold it so well done boys, that's another tick in my box so we just do the uh, my quick top 5 so number 1 
affordability. It is a cheap Chinese bike. I love these. Someone said to me, you can't ride your big bike, we're going to give you a cheap one. What do you want? Yes, I'll go for something out of the Lex Motor range because I know it's going to be good. Reliability, number two. What's it like for reliability? If you maintain it, service it and stick to your cleaning schedules and keep your chains and everything lubricated and I always say coat of ACF 50 one of those anti-corrosion sprays one of the muck off sprays very very good I personally love ACF 50 I coat mine every week in ACF 50 and I've got no rust at all on my bike so if you're going to give a bike coat, a coat and you're going to leave it outside should be good if you're just going to let it there and let it rot then you are going to get a rusty bike very very quickly so coat a good ACF 50 and that is good. Comfort, I'm going to knock this down a bit because this seat is a little bit on the weird side. I suppose it's another one of those that you get used to, but it does push you forward into the tank. And I'm in an upright position and being pushed forward into the tank all the time, so... Yep, yeah, it's, it's one of those I suppose it's going to grow on you. So I'm going to give it a 7 on the seat in, but I suppose I'm a bit long in the legs, so... That may be that may be the issue. And obviously, I'm 5'10 with a 32 inch, inch inside leg. Um, someone like Spicy, if he was taking it out, he'd probably say the same. You know, it's, it feels a little bit uh, weird against my legs. My legs are quite up high, so it's each to the rider's own comfort. You know, obviously, sit on a bike, try it out, see what you think. If it does, if it doesn't feel right, then move to the next model or move to another brand maintenance and other parts on this now we charge 99.50 a service and that's a full bolt check ride test oil and filter change now what I am going to do here because obviously we've got the uh, the local traffic here with the roundabout so I'm just going to filter as they say up the inside and I'm just going to take a shortcut down the back roads and as you can see Around town, it's it's nippy little thing, so. Ease of maintenance, nine out of 10 for me. And the final one, which I absolutely love, controls miles per gallon. It just goes and goes and goes. Now obviously I add five liters in this. We do five liters for ride testing, and it's telling me now obviously we've been running this up in the workshop, we've had it running for about 40 minutes which is what we tend to do, just let them run up a little bit run them around the yard, cut them back in and then turn them off and then start them up again so it's been started about 40 times this one just to check that the starting is all okay and I've still got a bar of fuel there so obviously quite a large tank on this one so you'll get a good sort of couple of hundred miles out of this now I've been told that these do about 96 to 110 to the gallon, so that's yet to be seen, but obviously next time I don't know what they're talking about as they wouldn't have put the figures up. But this, uh, this tank's quite large, so you'll get a good sort of week to two weeks worth of riding out of it if you're only doing 10 miles a day, and just coming in like front brake, I'm just going to pull it up hard. As you can see, that does stop very, very well when needed. the potholes there and as you can see soaks the bumps up so I'm just going to go down a few more back roads just to whiz it around a few more corners and just show you what it's like if you was just out for your daily commute and doing a bit of shopping so just do a quick right here and as you can see the indicators on this very very easy to see on that dashboard all the info I need is right in front of me right there tells me what I'm doing what gear it's even got the clock on it which I've got a set because it's not 10 past 7 <laughs> it's about quarter past 4 actually but just whizzing it around and once again pulling that in on the back brake does the job One of our uh, K 
customers that's just gone past on his bike. So we're just heading back to the garage now. I'm just going to filter down the outside because obviously I've got a red light. And then just throwing it into that corner. Big bump coming up and just over the bump. So that's been the Lexmoto Isker. Riding out with the guys from Eclipse Motorcycles, myself, Rev Bomb. Whatever you're doing. Absolutely good one. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and leave your comments in the bottom below. And we're just going to pull it back up on the yard again and we're going to have one last look around this bike. So popping it into neutral. And then popping it back on the main stand. Very, very easy to get back onto that main stand. So obviously any comments, any questions, leave them in the uh, bits below. Don't forget like, subscribe to the channel. As you can tell, well, it's a beauty. That is the Lexmodo Whisker.